anybody can have a ligament injury in the knee, but normally it is people that are involved in athletic activities. We see it a lot in people that work other kinds of jobs like construction workers, etc., that have accidents or fall. People that have accidents outside their home and do things of that nature will oftentimes have injuries similar to this too. The biggest thing as far as a risk factor with a ligament damage that people have is um, instability or a sense that their knee is not under them. Initially or acutely they'll get pain and swelling, but once that subsides, the major function of that ligament is to keep the joint stable. And that's sort of what they feel then is the instability that comes when that ligament is torn. And they'll actually sometimes fall or their knee will give away. And as a result of that can potentially cause other injuries to other joints or even that joint that was already injured. Uh, but the quicker you can get it diagnosed and then potentially treat it, the better. Because sometimes you can treat these kind of injuries without surgery. And if you brace it or you know, immobilize it appropriately, other times, if it's not caught or diagnosed quick enough, you're sort of left with just the surgical option, which is sometimes harder to deal with for patients. So some of the ligaments, like the anterior cruciate, we do, we call it arthroscopic aided. Uh, so there's a bit of an open incision that's used for that, in addition to most of it being done arthroscopically. But then if we have like a medial collateral ligament or a different type of ligament, then sometimes we do have to make an incision and actually open up to, to repair those. So for surgery, normally you have to immobilize for a period of time and it's usually about four to six weeks after the surgery to allow the healing process to take place. So for some of these ligaments, it'll take about three to four months. But for some of the more functional ligaments, like the anterior cruciate ligament, the recovery to get back to activity can be up to upwards as far as six to, to 12 months. 